Guts Frisbee, the nation's first extreme sport, was created in Eagle Harbor, Michigan. The game quickly spread down the Keweenaw Peninsula and caught on fast. Dan Gannon, a UP native, started playing at the age of 16. We played it every summer. We'd go to a bunch of tournaments and practice, and you got to know a lot of different guys from Marquette, Houghton, different areas in uh, lower Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois. And every year you got to see them again. And uh, you'd go out, you'd play hard, you'd have a good time. The game formerly attracted thousands of spectators to Marquette Mountain for competition. But as the new generation came of age, the game slowly lost its appeal. With the glory days of the sport, which was once featured in Time Magazine and on ABC's Wide World of Sports in the past, the future looks bright with new young players and more international players. And the first tournament that uh, U.S. teams went to, that international competition, was in Toronto. And after that, uh, there was one in Japan, and there was some, a U.S. team that went to that. And as these teams saw the guts being played, more and more of them started playing. The game of guts frisbee has been the game of guts frisbee has been played since the late 1960s. But as new young players come along, they hope to bring prominence back to a native game of the. Upper